In this lesson, we'll paint a little bit of ambient occlusion to accent some of the details in our character's shoes. All right, great. So this is kind of where we're at at this point. Uh, the shoes are just about done, I feel like. Uh, but, you know, when we zoom in, say on this shoe, for example, let me just hide the other one. Uh, let's just zoom in on that guy and kind of take a look at it. You can see that some of these details that are apparent in the normal map, they're still not really being highlighted by the color textures that we've painted. So uh, what I'd like to do, let me just go ahead and hold down the K key and go to Basic Brushes. We'll just choose the default brush here. And I like this one because it's got sort of a soft edge on it. Uh, we'll come in and mark the alpha as well. And uh, let's just come in and work on some ambient occlusion that we're going to hand paint in here. So um, the first area that is drawing my attention is around the tongue of the shoe. So uh, I'll just come in here. And now for this particular ambient occlusion, I want to be able to paint underneath the laces. So let's go ahead and select our base layer and create a new paint layer above that. We'll just title that AO. And uh, now keep in mind that this is going to be underneath the details we've painted. So uh, that's exactly where we want it. Let's just go ahead and hold the C key and maybe sample the color that we used for the soles of the shoes. And if you remember, that's a very, very dark color. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in here and just kind of zoom in on the tongue area. I'm also going to grab my eraser. And I'm going to set that one over to maybe this super soft brush here. So that way, when I can, I can come in and I can begin to paint for the, uh, the shoe. And if I get a little bit crazy with the ambient occlusion, we can erase some of it back. So we'll come in and paint just sort of like that. Maybe a little bit down here. And then we'll grab our eraser and just sort of soften that a little bit in areas. Maybe right around here we can come in and erase away and soften before we bake that down. I feel like I want that to be a little bit more on the uh, saturated side. So it's a little bit hard to tell at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this over. That feels a little bit better, feels a little bit more saturated. So let me just clear my buffer and we're going to do this area again. So we'll just kind of paint in right around in here. Do the same thing right over here. Maybe kind of connect those just a bit here. Then grab our eraser and just sort of soften that edge a little bit. Because even with the default brush here inside of Mari, you're still going to get a little bit of a hard edge if you press hard enough. So uh, we'll go ahead and bake that down. And that's starting to look a little bit better. So what I might do is come in and grab my uh, same brush that we're using and unmark the radius control for it. So at this point, I can come in and I can really just kind of paint in very, very softly and not have to worry about a tiny little radius that I'm dealing with if I want to kind of refine some of this. All right, that's looking really nice. So other areas where we might come in and pull out some detail, I've noticed that there is kind of a sculpted detail right here, um, and there's no occlusion picking up on it. So uh, I'll come in here and mark my radius again. And I'm going to come in and just kind of softly brush in a little bit of a shadow right there. Bake that down. And that feels a little bit better. Feels like it's being picked up on. Now, I'm trying not to pay much attention to any of these specular highlights that we're seeing because we really haven't addressed any of the specularity of the model yet. So um, let me just clear my buffer and zoom in a little bit more on that guy. And we can grab our eraser if we need to and sort of feather at it before we bake it. And I definitely feel like I should probably come in here a little bit more. Really kind of darken that area up. I'm going to kind of grab my eraser and feather at that some. I'm just trying to create kind of a hard edge against those scratches. It feels a little bit better. So another area that we could come in and kind of target for some ambient occlusion is if we go ahead and turn off the lighting, this transition between the sole and the leather. So uh, what I mean by that is if we grab our paint tool, just kind of zoom in here, I could come in and run this Let's go ahead and turn off our radius control as well. I can come in and just sort of run a nice little soft brush kind of right down this area here. 
So uh, basically what we're doing at this point is kind of creating a little bit darker shadow where the leather rolls under um, as it approaches that leather sole or that rubber sole rather. It's kind of difficult to see with that specular highlight. Let me come in here and I'm just going to turn the specular highlight down some. So we'll just come in and drop that guy down. And that's a little bit better. All right, fantastic. So just coming in and painting some of this ambient occlusion. Now it may be a little difficult over here to see with the lighting. Uh, so we'll just turn that off and make sure we get that down where it should be. Now I came up at a little bit of an angle because I'm worried that the, the sole of the shoe may obstruct my strokes a little bit. So I am kind of coming at it from an angle sort of like that. It's so allowing me to make sure there's no little gaps where there should be a little bit of a shadow and we just don't have any. So just kind of going all the way around the shoe here. Just like so. I'm going to zoom out and we'll just hit this in one kind of big stroke here. All right, fantastic. So uh, let's go ahead and turn the lights back on here. And now you can kind of see how that's adding just a little bit to it. Now we could probably extend that up a little bit further in some areas. Uh, for example, in the arch of the uh, shoe, where there's a little bit uh, steeper of a slope, we could probably begin to extend that up a little bit more. So sort of like that. Let me just do that one more time here, maybe with a little bit bigger brush. And again, increase and decrease the radius of your brush by holding the R key and dragging. That feels a little bit better. And another area we could target for some of this ambient occlusion is kind of up around in this area right here, where the leather is kind of meeting at these seams. So we'll come in and kind of just paint that like so. All right, fantastic. Now, we're painting underneath a lot of those details that we've painted before. So I'm not able to paint on this yellow color here because everything I'm painting is underneath that. So uh, we might actually think about coming in and doing yet another AO layer. We'll just go ahead and create a new paint layer, this time above the detail layer. So we'll just come in and title it same thing. And now if I need to come in and kind of add in some ambient occlusion kind of in this area, Sort of like that. I can do that. We'll just soften that up with our brush a little bit, our eraser. Come do the same thing over here. So again, I'm just sticking with the exact same color that we used before. Now, um, you might even think about shrinking that down and run just a little bit of a bead kind of right along here, maybe even smaller than that. Um, just kind of where that transition area is between uh, the leather and that kind of, kind of that rough leather and that polished leather. So uh, lots of different areas we could come in here and really kind of pick up on in terms of targeting them for um, this ambient occlusion that we're painting. Uh, again, this is just hand-painted shadows, essentially, um, where uh, there's little cracks and crevices that really should be casting a shadow, um, but because they're not part of the geometry, uh, they're just not. Come back here, maybe this piece right here, run a little bit of a, a shadow underneath it. Sort of like so. Maybe even these pieces over here. Sort of like that. 
All right, great. So um, in this lesson, we have begun to paint some ambient occlusion around our shoe just to make some of the details that we've painted begin to pop. And I think that we've done a pretty good job of doing that. So I'll go ahead and finish out the other shoe in between lessons. But at this point, we'll have the shoes and really the entirety of his wardrobe pretty much wrapped up. So in the next lesson, we're going to shift gears just a little bit because we're going to be shifting our attention to painting the fleshy areas or the skin tones for our character. And we'll go ahead and start with sort of a subdermal layer in the next lesson.